and so I started as always from Fusion 360 creating a sphere. The idea is to place the LED strips on the curved surface of a sphere. I also drew some reference line for the position of the LED strips. Then I used the shell function leaving a thickness of 0.8 mm and cut it into two parts so that I could then print it. I created some spaces rings between the internal and external sphere. Then I applied the LED strips to understand how many LEDs can fit in a single strip. And finally I create the external sphere which will be made of a translucent material to enhance the effect of the LED lights. I also prepared a support for the battery that will disappear inside the sphere. And to control the LEDs we use an ESP8266. To prepare the files for 3D printer I use Prusa Slicer. So I started with the internal sphere, then the external sphere, the battery holder, and the separation rings. And let's print. I use a black and white PLA filament. For the speed it depends on your printer, but I recommend not to go too fast. PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the PCBWay.com. For the external part of the sphere, I asked PCBWay to make it in translucent resin UTR8100 and the result was truly incredible. Honestly, it looked like a piece of tin from a mold. The threads are perfect and there is no defect on the surface. What you see is all that is needed for the realization of this project. So let's collect everything and start the practical realization of this LED sphere. In these strips the LEDs are mounted very close and it is difficult to cut in the right place. So let's make a mark on the 35th with a black marker and then remove it. Now we can cut the strip precisely. And let's always remember that the strips have a direction. Let's prepare the pads so it will be easier to solder the cable later. This will be the line that shows us the position of the LED strips. And these are the spaces that will keep the two hemispheres attached and will distance the external part. 
we add the threaded brass inserts And now I screw the spacer onto the internal sphere using 12 mm I M3 screw. This is the reference line for positioning the LED strips. We insert the signal and power cable on the first LED strips inside the spacer slot and start positioning the first LED strips. To connect all the LED strips together, we need to prepare three different lengths of cable. So we proceed to cutting the wires. Now I prepare the wires. I started soldering the wires on the pad, respecting the direction as you can see. And this is the result at the end. Now I complete the insertion of the remaining LED strips. This is the final result. And as you can see, each strip follow the direction of the arrow, one up and the other down alternatively. This is the first and this is the last. Now a quick test to see that everything works. I solder the connector to the SP8266 microcontroller. Now I solder the USB connector to the two power wires of the LED strips. I insert everything inside the sphere and we are ready to assemble the external sphere.
and this is the space I want to leave to create a soft effect to the lights. Now I close the other half of the external part. Fix the battery to the support. Insert the support inside the sphere and everything is completed. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos.